Carl Virtually here, back with the first vlog after you've seen this video, potentially knowing that I've come back. If not, the trailer is linked down in the description. But I am currently back. I have the time to make these videos, edit them, do everything that I need to. And I wanted to give a little insight on my experience with YouTube, what got me into YouTube, and where this all is going so you can either jump on the train or, you know, what's coming and you can not follow. YouTuber in existence? That's a little far-fetched. There's YouTubers I look up to, so I, I definitely might not be the best of the best, but I'll be up there. So, first off, I started my experience way back in junior high of YouTube with no love for the YouTube itself. I, I came up with Viral Virtually because someone had come up with the channel Virtually Viral, and it's uh, that was the first thing that came to mind. I was like, alright, let's think of something trendy that everybody's going to love. Well, that didn't work. So, after just switching the two around, like, so my, my very first channel was M-S-T-E-R, which I don't think is still on, on YouTube. I think I was able to delete it a while back. But it was just an account that I just thought, cool, I just created something random. It didn't take off at all. And so from there, I was like, all right, I used a, a YouTube generator. And I was like, okay, well, let me try this. And the first one that came up with trending words for viral, was viral virtually. I'd be like a virtual internet like sensation. I'd be cool, I'd just create something random. Didn't take off at all. And so from there, I was like, all right, I used a, a YouTube generator. And I was like, okay, well, let me try this. And the first one that came up with trending words for viral was viral virtually. I'd be like a virtual internet like sensation. I'd be on the web itself and it would be, it'd be good. It'd be, it'd be like, it sounded good. Scratch that. The first one that came up was a YouTube channel for virtually viral. And it was taken. So instead of going through a whole list and continuing on, because I like that one, I just swapped the two and that, that one wasn't taken. It's, it's what I use for all my social medias and everything. This viral virtually is the, the one that I came up with that I've stuck with the longest. And it, it kind of worked. And I didn't really find a love or passion for this until college. I took a video class in high school. It was okay, and it kind of taught me a little bit of the editing. And from there, I continued to not pretty much do anything with YouTube until college. So in college, I had an English class. And with that English class, I was not doing well whatsoever. In fact, I, I think within the last two weeks, I had an F in the class. And there was a final project, and it was basically within that English class, they asked like what you would want to do with your life progressing. They wanted to see where you would go in life. Like they wanted to basically give you a structure to see like what where your mindset was. And with that being said, it it didn't really hit me until like the last day. I had done YouTube stuff up until then. I created like a website, which is also no longer in existence. I don't have any merch or anything yet, but I created a website prior to that and the final project was worth like two letter grades. So it would bump me up to a C uh, if I did well. Uh, it kind of didn't make sense for the whole, you know, you could fa basically fail uh, up until then, which I did kind of, and I wasn't really school smart. But from there, I decided that I wanted to be a YouTuber. And I'm not sure if anyone from that class would ever watch me. I'm not sure if the teacher even knows who I was besides like a, a failure. Except I absolutely killed that presentation. So what the project was, we had to go up to the front of the class, not read off a note card, and basically describe what we wanted to do and have some proof of where we wanted to go. Then I already had the website built and without doing anything, this is where the true love for YouTube came from because it was the easiest to talk to about a subject. Uh, my tongue. It was the easiest subject to talk to about a subject that I wanted to uh, progress in. Now, what that means is I literally talked to a class that I wanted to be a YouTuber and I wanted to continue on. And way back then, in like 2015, it actually probably made sense compared to where the world is now, especially when you see all these up and coming people just skyrocket. But the one thing I can say I took away from that class is it allowed me to talk to the camera. 
Talking in front of those people and basically coming up on the whim, I basically made that project in one night, the night before. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanna be like a banker. Do I wanna be a lawyer? Do I wanna be a doctor? Not smart enough for majority of those things, nor do I have the patience. But the one thing I got out of that class was I was able to start talking to a camera. I was able to, to do basically this, but just on a lesser scale. And with that being said, it made it a little easier to get onto YouTube which is where like the select segmented videos came from that weren't just music with a picture. Fast forward a little bit more. Let's say 2019 is when I actually got onto TikTok. And from TikTok, I can definitely say that also heightened my whole experience with YouTube because I made it to, so I was working at a T-Mobile and working at T-Mobile, not sponsored again, working at T-Mobile, everybody there was big into TikTok and we all had these like little competitions to see who can make it the furthest. And of course I did. I had 4,000 followers, TikTok is no longer up because they were all cringy videos and I was basically asking for as many as possible views and followers. But once I made it to my first thousand, for the first thousand for the, uh, the what you needed to do a live stream, that is what amplified why I'm able to talk to a camera, why I was able to do podcasts and stuff like that, because you're thinking on the fly. And so being able to do TikTok enabled me to do Twitch, which has heightened my YouTube career. So basically my timeline was a class that I was about to fail, TikTok, Twitch, and here we are now. Like, let's, let's be honest here. Most YouTubers, if you are a YouTuber watching this, or if you wonder about the whole process of YouTube, the thing is, it is extremely hard to bring the camera into public places and talk, right? So if right now, I was just in like a restaurant, I was like, all right guys, so uh, people would probably be looking at me funny, but the thing is, you can't care about that. My YouTube career has been definitely spotty. So the things that I can say that made YouTube successful or will make YouTube successful are like the three key tips that I have learned through research and asking other YouTubers and various other things. So one, no, number one, in case you don't have time for the rest of this video, is consistency, right? You could be shooting on like the worst camera quality with no lighting, with no DSLR, you could be shooting on your phone, you could be doing whatever you want, but if you're not consistent, you're not gonna make it, even even if you have the best videos, because even the best videos, for some reason, don't make it up there. You could have like the best equipment and everything. Like, I, I bought all this recently, and I have the time to do the editing and stuff. But the thing is, I didn't need to. I could just shoot on my phone and for the first videos until I started making monetization, and then I could potentially buy other equipment. But I wanted to start with the best because I've been on YouTube for so long that I feel like I should keep up the semi-quality that I had when I left again. But the thing is, consistency, if you don't have it, if you're not doing it at least like every other day, every once a week, every month, and you're just doing it at random sporadic times, you're not gonna make it because no one's gonna know when to watch you. You're not gonna have like a rhythm, right? Like if I was watching your vlog and I didn't know when your vlog was coming out, I'd look somewhere else. And then when I see you come across your video, then it'd be awesome. Maybe I'll go through all the videos I've missed, maybe I wouldn't, but you lose on chances. So, with consistency, I've made it a goal to post weekly. So that's one of the checklists that I have. Also ties into number two is quality. I know that it stated previously, you don't have to have the best quality, but there's gonna be like a select audience that doesn't watch you because your videos are a lesser quality. When you have the capital, or when you have the ability, or if this is a, a hobby that you want to pursue... Alright, we'll wrap up...